One. What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here at the first Team YCS here with our our guys oh, Slim. So we got everybody. I'm so angry. That's and we're here game. with. Back here. Uh, Max Reynolds and Burden Temner and Invisible Jeff. Yes, but Jeff, that's you guys. Jeff just, played yeah. this deck. Yeah, contrary yeah. to popular belief, okay. uh, with Team Ultra Reality Tops. I like Ultra Reality it. Games was taken. Yes, um, it yeah. was taken. Oh yeah, my god! Apparently, yeah. 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 somebody else like characters and they didn't want any. That's yeah. crazy. Oh rip! All right, let's like get into games, it. Right. Alright, so I played a Danger Thunder deck featuring Goliath and Arc Brave, very interactive strategy. Interactive. Um, so I played, uh, for my good normal summons, I played Solar and uh, Sky Blaster. Uh, so you just want to see one of these in every hand. If you see multiple, it's okay, but you generally want to see just one of them, and your whole combo is just like, fine. Uh, so those are really good. Uh, for the Thunder Monsters, I played three regular Thunder Dragon, uh, two Dark, two Roar, uh, two Hawk, and just one Duo. Uh, okay. So this is the only one I played three of because it's the only one you really like want to see. Uh, you can kind of toggle the rest of them through like other means like solar or just like hitting them off Saryuja. Um, this or just had this, you know, really like, nice. you know <laughs> yeah, it works out. Um, so this one's like really good. You don't really want to see like the, these like at all. You just want to send them. Hawk's all right, but it's still like kind of shitty. And then Duo's really good because sometimes uh, you can't like banish the Eclipse Wyvern during your combo, um, so it fixes that there. And then. It also, it's a fact. It's also just insane. When you yeah. kill something, you got a thunder monster. If you um, draw this, you can just touch this. Right? this yeah, you can just get this yeah. too. Yep, it's, it's just really good. It helps you kill, which is important. Yeah. It also helps you make dark matter, yeah, which, is, which is very. very <laughs> That's the best card. Um, <laughs> Shout out to the shot. Yep. yep. For the dangers, uh, three Nessie, three Jackalope, three Suchinoko, two Mothman, and one Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot's a new addition to the deck. Uh, I played all of these in past lists, um, but Bigfoot was really good because you're trying to make Dark Matter, um, so it's like good that it's a level eight you can get from your deck off Jackalope whenever you need it. Yeah. Uh, you can also like randomly sork this to get this, which like this one, which is like kind of relevant. I never did it uh, in the tournament, but I did it in testing, so okay. that was good. Uh, Bigfoot's also good at popping like uh, floodgates that are face up, and then like multi roll if it's sitting. So. All these cards are really good. And also the fact that you just have like the extra danger name is important for unclogging your hands. So. Yeah. Like that lineup. Uh, I played three of the white dragon and three of the black dragon. Um, this is pretty new. Most people only play a two of this one, um, but we went with three because you just want to maximize the odds that you do see a dragon. Um, looking forward, I don't think I would play three of this one because it's a lot harder to fill your grave with lights than it is darks in this deck. Yeah. Um, so a lot of games I have like two or even three of this one, um, and you just can't really do anything. Like a top 16, I drew, drew, you just drew three of this one. Oh. Yeah, it's not, not too good. Um, but this one's amazing, as always, so keep that at three. Uh, other dragon monsters, Eclipse Wyvern. Um, it's just important you get off your combo. Um, you can search Levinier with it. I just, nothing bad to say, really. Even if you draw it, too, you can just summon it off Saryuja, and that's just your combo. So. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. uh, one Diablos, three Levinier. Um, past lists play like two. I, some probably play three, but three was new for me, and I really liked it. Um, it was just broken most of the tournament. I, my losses, I lost twice, um, or three times, I guess, in top 16. In Swiss, I lost twice to drawing just horribly bricky oh. hands with like two or even three of these, and he can vouch. I just turn over and be like, I, I don't know what you want me to <laughs> do with this. Yeah, just not very good. Um, but I still think I would play three, because um, it's just so good. Like, it's just going to outweigh that. Yeah, there's like, nothing you know. It's just really powerful. Yeah. And then the other dragons are Goliath and Arc Brave. Um, you send these off Dark Matter, and usually, like, uh, Wyvern, if you haven't used it, or um, Diablos, and that just finishes like your combo. You just get to end with like this one, Hot Red, and two Colossus, which is just really hard to deal with. Um, the Hot Red's especially important because the mirrors out to this is like um, like Levinier usually, um, unless they can trigger Diablos, but you know, if they, if they have that. Like, they yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then three seconds late, uh, the only spell in the deck. I really like Allure more, more than this card, but everyone fought me on it, so I just played seconds late. And it was fine. No regrets? Yeah, no regrets. Yeah. Um, so the question is, if you had the prize card, would you have played it? Uh, so or I wanted it like to? when the deck was good with snow, uh, when you were gumblaring and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was like really good then. I haven't really considered it in this list. Um, I would like one, I think that'd be really cool to try, but yeah. I'm not really sure if its impact would like, be like enough to like warrant yeah. the spot or okay. the money to spend on it. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, so, you could have just won one and stuff. Yeah, we oh, could've. yeah, that's true. Bowden um, with the facts. Bro. Shout out to Bowden, he's, he's alive in this profile. He's alive, I know, <laughs> right? Uh, I know, that's always the token yep. that comes up. <laughs> uh, three Colossus. Some people play two, I really like three. Um, some hands you just like, in order to get to Dark Matter, you have to make like the third one. Uh, so that was really good. 
And it's important for killing too, so you just sometimes you just throw all your cards on the board and good to go. Uh, Hot Red instead of Crystal Wing because I didn't play uh, Zombie Stein, I played this instead. Um, this was amazing. Uh, Dark Matter is obviously good because it just sends for costs. Um, it helps you kill against like an Eagle Booster Sky Striker Link. And also through like Bay Links, which the deck had like kind of a hard time with before. Yeah. Um, so I like that a lot. And then this card's just like very cool. You can like sork your opponent a Thunder Monster to start your combo if you have like an awkward hand, and then get to this later, and then take your Thunder Monster back and make a Colossus still or whatever you need. Um, so that's just really good. And then you can take like Striker Links too if it, if it goes your way and cut them off for you. So True. pretty good cards. Um, the Guard Dragons, nothing to say really. Uh, Repro is really good. Uh, Nightmare Links, uh, both I made a pretty good amount of time. I'm going second a lot, so they're both pretty good. Uh, Summon Sork, two Saryuja, uh, and Borload. Uh, so the only like weird thing about my extra deck, I think, that like Thunder Dragon people might notice is that there's no Link Spider. Yeah, um, Spider. yeah. and what, while we were playing this week, it came up where I wanted the third Colossus more than the Link Spider, like a lot of the time. So we're just all right. Just get rid of Link Spider. Going Link Spider came up a lot. Yeah. Actually, but like, now it came like, up. It only but you came can still get after you've done the summons on top. Right. Like yeah. After the fact. Otherwise, you well, just sometimes you have like Sky I, Blaster. I, yeah. yeah. It was like harder. It's but, easy to make a Sayuja yeah. than play. Yeah. Yeah. With all the dangers, it's, it kind of just evens out. So I, I didn't really regret it that much. It, it only like actually hurt like once. So I think that that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the side deck, <laughs> uh, three Panker Tops, uh, three Lancia, three Sphere Mode. Three Danko and three Phantasmae. I wanted to main this card, but I didn't think it made sense to main like 47 with Phantasmae because your odds of seeing it are just very low. And then if you see it after the fact, you're like, well, this card doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like that. Um, but it was amazing sided because you, you're just it's a little better. Um, every card here I used every, at least once or twice, you know, throughout the whole tournament. A lot more, like Danko was amazing, Lancia was amazing, I played a good amount of Mirrors, Panker Tops, like, I, I don't really know what I would change here. I'd like to fit, a, like, a Kaiju or two, but I, I don't really know what I would Yeah, cut, you so. don't know what you'd take out. Yeah, because gotcha. everything felt, like, pretty, pretty good. Right. So. Perfect. Yep. All right, so All let's right. go let's on go to Bowden. And the Invisible. And then the yeah. Invisible. Jeff, yes, yes. Jeff invented this. So um, this is just... I, <laughs> just played it a bunch and then we changed a couple cards. It was really nice. I like it. Um, Should have played Thunder. Should have played Thunder. Yeah, Should have like, played probably. Thunder. I, I don't know how to play this deck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these were the hand traps. They were really good. Like, you just need to play these in these decks. One card lets you play. It's Ray. Um, and then the Sky Striker cards were. Oh, Jeff Lumble them up. Uh, there were three Engage. <laughs> Somewhere here. Uh, three Widow Anchor. I think these are all just like really standard. Like I saw some people playing two of this at the UDS. I don't think that's correct. Like uh, the field spell also is just like really ridiculous. Um, and then there's just like the really niche ones that you know, this is a one. Yeah. Uh, this I think like you can get away with playing two now. Like afterburners is like kind of okay, I guess. Um, cannon people were playing two, but it just seemed like this card is only good when your opponent's playing the game. Um, if they are playing the game, then usually the game's a little bit harder, and like, Widow Anchor sort of functions the same. Uh, and then Jamming Ways I thought was really good. Like, when the game's sort of just like slow or simplified, uh, this card will like kill a back row and kill a monster, and it can also just like start you playing by killing Area Zero, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but like, just in general, this card seems a lot stronger now than it was previously. Uh, whereas like Afterburner seemed like it was a, a lot okay. stronger. Against like Salaman Great, you can't really kill a card with Afterburner a lot of the time. Um, and like this one just like forces out the, the back room and can like out the Phantasmes, like their boards. It's really good. Uh, then one of us were like Rhoda, uh, Twin. This is the 41st card. Yes, Sacrilege, no upstart in this deck. We <laughs> just played Twin because Jeff's like side plan didn't incorporate having a uh, two twin and we just couldn't fit it. We needed more cards for Thunder, which is like in the finals right now, very represented dark. Yeah. Um, but like the one twin was just insane each time. Given the matchups that we played, I think hindsight, this could have been bumped to three. Like maybe it was just like a card that should have been in our decks like from the beginning. But like there was just enough Thunder to justify playing one. And like the post side, we only have another one. So this seemed fine. Uh, Desires is a lot better than Foolish Barrel Goods. Cut says draw two goods, just like put spells in the graveyard. It helps you like, like sort of fix hands, but it really doesn't. And this card is just like stronger versus like certain hand traps or like board states. Against like the Thunder Dragon board, you would rather draw two cards than like good send a card. And like usually you can get away with it too. You like force one negate with like multi roll, then activate this draw two. Gets you closer to like Ray, gets you closer to like Widow Anchors and stuff to play the game. Um, then. 
three coal by the grave, which is probably just like one of the best like like proactive, like reactive, so it just does everything sort of COD. Like it's basically a trap half the time, but like it also just like functions just against everything. Like it's just a really, really good COD. Uh, we liked it because generally a lot of the decks would try and like cut you off playing. Like you'd get kaiju, you'd get you know, whatever, and then you just like have this set, and it sort of just stops Salivate Grey from killing you, which is cool. Um, against the mirror match, you can um, use it as like another effect, Vela banishing like Kagari or Shizuku or something. You can banish Ray to cut them off Ray. It's just a very powerful card. It's good against Thunder too. Against Thunder, Thunder especially. If they um, if they have a combo and put a Colossus in Grave, you can just banish the, banish the Colossus and it's negated, negated, and then you get to play it. Like, I think that's like really niche, but it does come up fairly often. Uh, and then like two terraforming. Very standard, uh, the traps also very standard, just three impermanents, like uh, arguably one of the better hand traps, doesn't get hit by Cole by the grave. And then we played two Lost Win. Oh, nice. uh, the theory is that when you force like a simplified game against certain decks, you would rather have a card like this set where you can use it once, uh, they try and play again and you just set it again. Uh, or they have like backer removal in the form of like twin, uh, jamming waves, etc. In which case this card is just like coming back, it's a free card. Um, it was just really good. Uh, against Thunder as well, against a lot of the weaker hands, I guess like when they sort of establish a board, this card's not as good, but uh, the weaker hands, you can use it once, maybe against a Sayuja, they can make a Colossus, you set this again, and then use it again on your turn, and like permanently halves it, permanently negates it, uh, just lets you do a lot of cool stuff. There's some instances where you can like halve a 3k, summon Hayate, crash, get your card, summon Ray, and then like do more damage. Yeah. That, that comes up time from time. This card was like really nice. Uh, uh, like obviously going second, not as good, but it, it happens. Uh, so main deck was 41 cards. Um, Extra deck was very standard, I I guess, like, like these are all the ones that everyone plays, like, kill them, this card overperformed this weekend, I think this card's probably like very underutilized, very good against Salamangrate and uh, the Thunder Dragon decks, and then these are just very standard. For the Striker Links, we played uh, three, three, and three, I feel like these are very standard, I've seen some lists play two of this and then a second of these, uh, kinda, uh, that card is like, good, like, ideally, I would try and fit a second one in. Uh, I'm not sure if it's higher value than Hayate, but just given the scenarios and how many times you ever summon three Hayate, maybe this one is like a bit better. Against the combo decks, they uh, try and kill you through your link, and this just like stops you from dying. Yeah. And then against like Salamangrate and like certain matchups, like this just summons uh, on your turn, you gain some life points, you like turn a dude to, like not turn a dude to defense, you stop it from attacking next turn, it's like really strong. It's also good against Phantasme for forcing it out, like randomly against like just very weak sort of hands, but uh, hey, thumbs up. Yeah, I think that was pretty pretty standard. Uh, then side deck was three summon limit. Uh, best trap card. It's very awkward though because a lot of the Salaman Great decks were letting us go first. Uh, yeah, letting us go first and then kaijuing us. So you couldn't really tell. So you had to like gauge your opponent. Uh, towards the end of the tournament, a lot of the decks that were picking second post side against your uh, our deck, uh, citing kaijus and stuff. They sort of drifted out. There was a lot of anti spells, a lot of sanctum stuff like that. So you could sort of just like have some idea and just like bring in the cards that are like applicable in that matchup. But uh, otherwise, this is just really good against combo decks. And Going first because you're always picking first against a combo deck. Otherwise, they're just gonna destroy you. <laughs> uh, I'll get to this one later. But three Chad right standard. Uh, three Pankratops also just very standard. Very good cards against you know specific matchups. Uh, twin, again, as I said, for the mirror match and like trap heavy decks. I don't like this against Salaman Great, but there are some instances where they have anti-spell in. This card's just really good. Yeah. And I know Jeff felt the uh, the exact same way. We didn't really want this in our deck until I saw someone flip anti-spell against us or flip Imperial, so like we want it now. Uh, Ergo was the card that we uh, main the one twin for. We wanted a card that would cover enough matchups. This covered Striker, it covered Orcus, it covered Thunder, it covered everything. It was just a really good card. Uh, I didn't get to see it as much as I would have liked, but like in certain matchups where they're multi rolling, like turn after turn, and you just ogre them, it's really strong. And then against the Thunder deck, uh, a lot of people tend to just go into Sork uh, quite frequently, where their hand sort of like it doesn't permit them to do it, and they can sort of just like end their turn. Uh, in which case this card is insane. insane. Um, and then also against the Thunder deck was Swords of Concealing Light. When your hand is not very strong, uh, well like even when it's like really strong, if they have a board and you Swords of Concealing Light, you can't really answer five monsters like very efficiently. Like you can answer it time from time, uh, you have to get to three spells, very awkward. Um, just being able to play this card sets everything. Having this with Widow Anchor stops like one negate plus like Goliath, Colossus, Colossus, which is like what everyone was doing this weekend. Um, 
and then it gives you like turns to draw cards. So this sort of functions like Upstart Goblet in the sense that you're almost guaranteed to see another turn. They usually have their link market like locked up and you just play this. Um, so this versus like Book of Eclipse is just the fact that like you can't readily kill all their cards. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is good against their, like their weaker boards as well. Whereas like certain cards uh, only function against like, like Sphere Mode only functions against a board of three monsters. If your opponent's smart enough, they're only like, leaving two monsters like say a Colossus or Goliath, uh, you just activate this or like double Colossus, activate this, right? If they just leave one Colossus, you can't Sphere Mode them. So you yeah. have this instead. Uh, so this card was very good. Uh, we didn't really get to resolve it. The one, one or two times I saw Jeff draw it, I think was against like, uh, the Thunder deck, it was yeah. in time and he comboed and he's turned to oh, a nice long deck. time, yeah, so like we just couldn't really do anything, but yeah, other than that, like the deck was really nice, uh, I know Jeff enjoyed it, he didn't lose too many games, he, he lost twice, he lost to yeah. uh, Imperial Order and uh, Maturi Beast, I think. Oh yeah. my god. We, we yeah. He lost on stream to, uh, did he lose on stream? Against Quinton? That, that was the Imperial Order. That that was Imperial and then he lost to Dinosaurs playing Maturi Beast, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, he definitely carried the team. Did, did very well. For sure. All very right. happy with it. So I have a few questions. Uh, how was your first experience at this first team YCS? Did you guys enjoy uh, it? Like, I had a lot of fun. I was also very stressed for most of it. <laughs> so like, if you finish a game before any of your other teammates, you're like, all right, like, how's everybody doing? And yeah. if like, if you can't like fully check in over yeah, there, you can't like, even it's like, like talk it just like them. sucks. Yeah. So the, the issue like our, that we yeah. found was like, uh, if you're the lost, yeah, too. time was a big thing. Like in terms of like coaching, it just seems like games would drag out. Uh, Judges didn't seem to have like an idea of uh, what, was what determined like well, like the that mostly like that was a big issue at the beginning of yeah. the tournament. We we were told certain things like you can't move from your seat to another place, but you then, can't touch your opponent's yeah. cards, certain things, and that like, that would like flip flop back and forth until like we got a definitive answer, which was kind of unfortunate. It was very inconsistent. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then there was also the issue of like if you uh, are like the last person to play. The, the, like the game, the match sort of like re revolves around you, right? And yeah. it's like a, this added pressure where it's like, okay, in a normal tournament, if I lose, I lose, it's my problem. Right. But yeah. if you lose when yeah, there's two other people depending very, on you, it's very, very stressful. stressful. Yeah. yeah, it's like between myself and I, I feel like maybe Bowden or Jeff, like if there was like less than two minutes left and you're the last person playing, yeah, you're sort your of plays like, are not ideal. Yeah, unless, you're, like, just, you're, you're just very, very much the rush. Yeah. A lot of our opponents yeah. like, had the same issue, you know, like just a lot of like, not intentional slow play, but like everyone's trying to find the best play, and yeah. you have two yeah. people able to help you. So, you know, why why yeah. wouldn't you take? I definitely think the forty five minutes they chose was like good, but it, it should probably it be a little enough. more too. I yeah. could definitely see like fifty or sixty. Like yeah. these, these days ended very early, from yeah. what I found. Right? Yeah. Like granted, they want them to end early, but I could definitely see a world where it's like fifty minute rounds or sixty yeah. minute rounds. Yeah, with like a. a Maybe a stronger FAQ before the event. Yeah, but again, yeah, like, yeah, this is like nice. this is like a trial by trial basis. I assume like they didn't have this in mind. Like there are a lot of like they niche, didn't know there'd be so many questions. scenarios. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they just can't really figure out until you run an actual event. But uh, you know, I I had fun. I, I Jeff had fun. Yeah, it was cool. I hope they do more of these. Oh yeah. yeah. should be good. Did you enjoy the top sixteen, or did you did it feel weird that it was really short top cut? Like, uh, I feel like there was enough players for top 32, but he, they didn't do top. Yeah, I, we were surprised that the FAQ didn't tackle a top 32. Yeah, didn't make I, sense I had asked me. about that, and they said uh, if it comes to it, we'll figure it out. Like it's normal, so normal YCS so is 512 yeah. would be top 32, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like this was a top 32 YCS. Okay, so like, absolutely. The, yeah. I think the big issue is uh, a lot of the pro players like don't want to play a top 32 because you have more chances to lose. To lose, yeah. But then there's also course. like instances where you basically you just get edge into top 32 yeah. like it can happen i know a lot of teams missed out yeah. with like x2 the, records yeah. and x1 and two, not right? day two it feels really bad i, think I was next to yeah. i was like okay i can make it just getting unlucky casually just yeah. put you in a in a funk but it adds up for sure yeah for but sure. other than that really nice good stuff. i think top yeah. 16 is fine sometimes sometimes okay yeah. so uh shout out say so, you guys got shout out uh, mm -hmm. shout out to ultra reality games uh argent saga affidian <laughs> i'm <laughs> trying to i'm trying to without turning around monster protectors yes. uh game rings game the circuit, circuit series, series. Yes. uh, uh i think that's about uh, jordan uh, yeah, jordan uh, that's yeah. about it that's I think. about it yeah and, uh, uh, right. Good job, Jeff. Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, congratulations on your top cut, guys, and thanks, thanks for deck profile. Thank you.